Zero. Well, hello there guys, Ryder VM here. And today I have finally actually able to run Zombie Smashers X2 on Windows 10. And just for the sake of other people who actually wanted to make this, in my opinion, a classic game in Windows 10 or Windows 11, I think this would even work for Windows XP. Okay, uh, to summarize, here's what you need to do. Uh, in the... There is a link to a, uh, to, to a file that you need to do in order to make Zombie Smashers. Uh, X run on modern Windows operating systems. It's in the description below. And once you go to that link, you will arrive on a mega file download and download the file. Uh, that is a 100 megabyte system. And wait for it for, for it to download. Now, once you download it, you will be arriving at the uh, folder here. And you need 7-zip to extract the files. So... Uh, I mean, you need to extract here on 7-zip on a separate directory. Now, after extracting the file, you will arrive at these files. Now, if you have forgotten the instructions on what to do, uh, I have put a text file here that uh, gives the instructions on uh, what to do. So, okay. Uh, first, the most usually, most of the time, you only need to do to install two files. Uh, that is first the vb6 full runtime setup.exe. So let's copy that. Let's do that. Double click. Uh, allow. Allow to run. And you will see this setup files for Visual Basic 6.0 full runtime setup. Click next. And then next after the disclaimer. Check everything. Because this actually, these files are actually kind of awesome if you wanted to run old. Windows 3.1, Windows 95, old games. So next, full installation. Wait for it to finish. And it will also try to register all the files. And when it's finished, click finish. And then run all runtimes.exe. Again, when asked for user account control, press yes. And then just press next on the newly appearing VB runtime files setup wizard. And finish setup. And then there will be an archive of the game inside the directory of Zombie Smashers X2. Now, 90% of the time, this is all you need. The X is there, double click it, and it should run. And this is on Windows 10. And I have also tested this on Windows 11, and it also worked correctly. Now, uh, if this actually works, then hopefully it does work on your side, and hopefully you don't need to do anything else. However, if it actually doesn't work, uh, you should PM me on my YouTube channel, because there are extra things you need to do. But 95% of the time, most of the time, you do not need to do anything else. Um, it's because the other things you need to do is to use uh, registry, regist registering DLL files, which, is, which tend to be really complicated. But anyway, uh, hopefully, uh, this is all you need to run Zombie Smashers X2 on modern Windows operating systems. So again, this is Ryder VM. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, uh, you can, as a thank you, you can like this video and perhaps even subscribe to my channel. And as always, uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video, and I hope that I will still see you guys in another video. So bye for now.